Hello YouTube and welcome back to another 3D ROS tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to create an object like this in seconds using booleans and Maya's auto retopologizing feature. So to do this I'm just going to create a cube and I'm going to just insert it in with another cube. Boolean difference. And I'm going to delete the history of that and then I'm just going to add a cylinder in as well just whatever for demonstration purposes and I'm going to boolean difference that as well and then I'm going to delete the history again as you can see our topology is not the best for being able to add different elements and also smoothen our object out so we want to change that so under the mel script at the bottom type in poly and then remesh with a semicolon at the end and a capital R and hit enter and this remeshes our object and then type in poly again and then retopo with a capital R and a semicolon at the end and hit enter and then this will remesh our object like this so bear in mind when you're remeshing that the remesh feature works on the scale of the object. So if we scaled this object bigger and it was taking up more grid space there would be a lot more resolution in our final retopple. So just keep that in mind if it's taking ages to load or my keeps crashing you might want to scale your object down a bit more. And then the inverse of that if you're not getting enough resolution but you can always change it in the settings here and uh, once it's re board you can just change the triangle face count so let's just say 500 and then that's going to work out again and re our object with a lower count and then from there you can add your subdivisions and smooth it out and you get a much better result so in add your divisions. As you can see, it does provide some strange results, particularly on spherical items. As you can see here, it doesn't flow around very well. And there is a way to fix that using mirroring. However, I'm going to refer you over to a more in-depth tutorial by Poly Creative. Uh, the link will be in the description. Here he goes over this feature in more depth and how to utilize this better. But I just wanted to get a quick tutorial out and share this feature with you guys because I know it will save a lot of time for those simple objects that you're creating. Of course you'll want to manually retopologize for more advanced objects like characters. However, this could be a nice quick way to get your topology working and speed up your workflow. So yeah, this has been another 3D ROS tutorial. Please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.